So we're off on the Trans Euro Trail, just take the time here, it's a bit sandy, not used to that. Oops, didn't mean to go down here. Uh, this is part of my normal Friday commute, which uh, first time I ever did it I was absolutely freaking terrified. This time, also terrified, but in the middle it's alright, it's just um, a little sheep. Um, it's just with all this luggage on, it's... Uh, it's tough going, plus also I've uh, pumped up my tyres to full road pressure which might have an effect, might not, I don't know. Trans-European Trail, this is day one for me. I'm doing 156 miles or about 250 kilometres on my own, just following the Trans-European Trail from my house to the Welsh border. So, one of my favourite spots just coming up here. Love this on the Friday commute. Don't do it if it's terribly muddy. But uh, look at that, you've got, I don't know if you can see it, sheep, you can see them. In the distance there, you've got Wind Hill, Mam Tor, uh, Back Tor. Right, got to concentrate now, because this is quite steep. Ah, it's not as bad as I remembered. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? As I mentioned in the last video, oops, pulled my clutch in there, that was dumb. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, there are a couple of, couple of bits that I'm worried about, but uh, I'll let you know about those when we get to them. A little bit of a dab there. Didn't like the fact that my heel caught my pannier. Got to be careful of that. Right, this is a lot harder than without the weight. Just got to get used to it, I guess. <sighs> oh, look at that. Just beauty. Harem over in all this. Taking off and landing, absolutely prefer that. But they're just buzzing around in the sky. Eh, it's nice and I like it, but compared to just buzzing along a oh, <laughs> parking, buzzing along a bumpy old track, and the potential for adventure is getting so many people out there. Isn't it? You want people at the events. You don't want people up there. No flies around at this time of day. Because we killed them all with our Pesticide. Hound Kirk, here we come. Right, we're on the way from this city to happiness today. Right, this is just stunning. What we got, we've got um, that's Mamtor, Rush Up Edge, 
uh, that's Ab- Abney, is it? The gliding club, I um, can't remember what it's called, High something, and there's Sheffield, but you won't be able to see that because that's just all hazy, 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 McHazy. Right, <sighs> time to carry on. Right, so this is a new one to me, and it looks a bit freaking steep. That is rocking up like a good one. Hey! I'm down. Had to happen. <laughs> Alright, cheers, yeah. Um, I think you'll be ahead of me. <laughs> Do you want to push? No, this one's a nightmare when it's dry coming up. Yeah. It's actually better when it's wet. Well, it turns out it's a nightmare coming down as well. <laughs> I've just discovered. Oh dear. It's only this bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Oh, I thought you got it then. I can't believe the point I fell off, there happened to be two bikes behind me coming, following me and one bike coming the other way. <laughs> That's my first off. Well, it's my second I suppose, technically, but the first one I'm not going to count. Because it was bollocks. So the bar's got uh, twisted a bit and I'm just um, loosening all the bolts in the hope that that will just straighten them, that it's just slipped rather than actually bent and I think that's the case but we'll find out when we start riding. Well, that's a strip thread, Let's see what we've got. And then that's some bolts collection. Bollocks. I brought a little bag of nuts and bolts. It looks like this one might be the very one. Let's have a look. Wait. Ah, oh, so you bring a bunch of nuts, bolts and washers and of course the one you need isn't in there. I've got almost one I need, but it's not. It's exactly the same as the one I'm replacing, and I need a longer one. Screw it through and put a nut on the other end. Nice. Well, it's a nice spot to um, do a repair. Trouble is, the repair didn't work. So the handlebars are actually twisted, and not just um, tw not just twisted in their mounts, but something's actually bent. Uh, serves me right for having so much weight. I can probably bend it back at some point, but. Gonna have to ride with it as it is for now. Got a little stream here. Just having a little snack. And then uh, on the way again. Morning or afternoon, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> oh dear, right. Thank you very much. Good at <laughs> I'm not good at reversing, she says. Uh, Hi. Right, bit of a hill. Whoop, sliding. <laughs> No sheepies. There you go. Nice. Look at that. Astounding beauty. Right, if I remember, this one's quite steep, so easy does it. ABS is off. And there's some people there. I can't coast the engine, though, because I will go too fast. Hello. Nice. DV by the look of it. Ow. Branch in the face. 
couldn't see it. Oh, it didn't look like it was going to hit my face. Right, that wasn't too bad. Not as steep as I remembered it. Whee. Okay, more dramas. Ah, dear. So, um, steering aids come loose, so I just got to tighten that. Fortunately, I carry the right gear with me. But even though I just tightened it, it's come loose, so I'm doing something wrong. I'll have to, I'll have to ask Chris when I see him what I'm doing wrong, because it keeps coming loose. Every day, school day. Steering aid. Oh, right, cool. Just uh, too, too much bouncy ground. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> you just come over at me, yeah? Hey? You just come over at me. I've just come from Pindale Quarry. Oh, right, I'm heading there. Okay. Yeah. Alright, nice. Nice, it's a bit hot. Yeah, it is a bit bloody hot. Yeah. 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 Heavy old bugger to get back up this. All right, let's see if we can get off this rut. Okay, so this is um, one that we did on Banky Barn last year, but we called it the steep one or something, the big hill, I think we called it. Um, the difference is I'm going downhill instead of uphill. Uh, it looks all right from here, but I know it gets a bit steep around the corner. Let's see how we do. All right, here's where it gets a bit steeper. Trying to hold the bars loosely is really hard. I know it's what you're meant to do especially the right hand. Oh, this is quite tricky. I mean, it's doable, legs are burning. Man, probably because I'm doing something wrong, right, that's a bit nicer. This is where people came off on Banky Barn last year. Oh. Hey. I think we're out, I think we're clear. Oh, that's a pretty hill. Hey Dale. Okay, what happened there was, uh, I don't know. Well, as you can see, it's a bloody mental rock field. And, 
just back end was sliding about and front end was bouncing about and I think I think I just uh, don't know gave it a bit too much to me At least I fell on the left this time. Maybe I'll balance out those handlebars. <laughs> you all right? Sorry? Right. <laughs> well, you're doing better than me. I just dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, this is the gnarly spot. As soon as you get up there, mate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that bit. <laughs> but, but what you can see now is the gnarly. If you can get over up on the left, it's a bit of a. You, you get it on that. Yeah. I'll come down the middle a bit. But... Yeah, fair play, mate, anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Like... Sorry? Oh no, no, that's the sixth time I've come off today. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, it's really good for you, you keep getting back on, that's what you've got to do. Yeah, well, the problem is, I can do it without luggage, but I'm camping. I've got so much weight on the back that the front's just doing that. Yeah. So I've got the next time I pack, I've got to put a lot more weight on the front. Yeah, it gets light. I've up. But it's a five day trip, so I've got to, got to oh, carry on. Well, it's going to be hard. Cheers. Have a good journey down. I the bottom, yeah, yeah. This is gonna, this is a bit scary. I don't know what's gonna happen here. If I can get up on my feet, I might be all right. But I might not. Keep it up. <clears throat> it. I'm down. <laughs> it now. This is awful. Right, this is this is a complete bugger. I've got no panniers on, so it should be more like more like I'm used to. Oh, that was exhausting. And so what happened was that I fell off and then I fell off again. I just figured I couldn't get up there with the 
all the weight on the back, all the panniers, which has got really badly distributed. Across here. Come on, can we keep it, keep it together now? Um, so what I did was I took the panniers off, rode it up, and then went back to the panniers and sealed up the fridge. Hey, yeah. Okay, so unfortunately there's no sound on this bit. Um, I had a new a new uh, microphone adapter which um, I hadn't got used to, so some of the time I forgot to do a little thing where I have to do it that I have to do just to get it to work properly. Um, as you can see, so this part here we've we've got to um, three tires head, and I'm going down there. I've reached this massive drop, and a bit worried, but I managed to find a way down there. It's very rocky, very technical. At this point, I'm completely knackered. I've been going all day. It's about five o'clock, I think, maybe-ish, maybe in the afternoon. And I'm thinking, well, I'll just do this one last bit, then I'll find somewhere to camp, and then head off to Wales tomorrow morning. It sh should be fine. And I thought, well, this is probably the last difficult bit, so I'll just get through this. And then I think everything else between where I was and Wales was gonna be all right. As you can see, it's uh, <laughs> pretty bumpy there. Oh, down we go. Um, and uh, it's pretty bumpy there, um, with just all these horrendous rocks down again. Ow, I look at this rock that I hit, massive rock that I just smashed into the side of. Um, so get that out of the way, then get the bike back up again. I'm getting pretty tired by this point. Obviously I've just fallen so many times, lifted the bike up so many times. Uh, back was hurting for a few days afterwards actually. Um, but after lots of struggle and hassle and faffing around with all these huge knee height drops, like, like 12, 15, and maybe 18 inch drops from in, in places managed to kind of struggle all my way down there hoping that it would be better going up the other side you'll find out in a minute just what happened um so just getting down this one just easing it down no heroics taking my time um getting down to three shires head Well, three shires here that made it. Uh, fell a lot of times, don't know how many, maybe four coming down that bloody hill. I'm hoping that the hill back up isn't as bad because it, it's got a steep drop. There's one bit just at the end there where the path was completely eroded away and uh, I just had to hit a bit of speed and avoid this pit that went down. Right, so it's obviously a very popular place in the summer on a hot day. People swimming. I could do that myself actually, but. I haven't got any trunks, and there's a lot of people around. Well, three shots said I made it in. Will I make it back out again? Don't fancy going the way I came, but then who knows what the, uh, the other route's like. It was such a hot day that I just uh, needed to get a bit, a bit of water on me. Um, as I say, I fancied a, a bit of a dip, but I was getting bitten, bitten, bitten by uh, midges at this time. They're, they're all coming out in the, in the dusk and uh, off we go um, back up the other side. So I've got to get over the bridge. So um, I watched Moreland Bikers uh, footage of going through Three Shards Head on a Himalayan uh, links up there recently. And um, he was saying that this place was the origin of terms like Flash Harry and Flash with the Cash because um, th there was a village called Flash there, but because it was the point, uh, the boundary point of three different counties and all the police forces had their own um, kind of uh, limits, they weren't allowed outside the limits, people went to trade, oh how did I get over that nasty gravy thing, um, trade counterfeit money um, at this point because they could just, just step across the water and get away from the police and the police weren't allowed to follow them, oh here we go, here we go, here we go, just so technical and bumpy, um, right just pausing a bit, um, so I'm absolutely exhausted at this point shifting a few rocks out of the way um, and uh, uh, making bad decisions because I'm so tired I'm also really hungry as well not too thirsty but I am hungry um, so here we go this is a bit of a big one I can't remember if I made this one or not I think I did let's find out <laughs> oh yeah 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 we're up we're up we're up 
And then over, ooh, over a big one. <laughs> it's horrible watching it back. Obviously this is future Tim watching all this stuff back through. Um, and uh, so, um, so I got to this point and this is where I kind of ran out of steam and I think this is the one that I, I got stuck on completely. Um, and it turned out that this was the last difficult bit of the whole thing, but I didn't know. Um, but uh, I burnt my clutch out, or at least kind of overheated my clutch massively so it wouldn't work um, at this point. And I, I kept trying and trying and trying, and I had to get four people to help me push the bike out down again, um, which I did. I eventually pushed the bike out, let the clutch cool down, and went home for the night. And you'll see tomorrow me doing a bunch of repairs on the next video. Um, but it was just horrendous at this at this point after this I just sat down and I was on the verge of tears and there's nowhere to camp nothing flat apart from actually on the path you can't camp on the path uh, and I didn't know what I was going to do didn't think I was going to get out there it was getting dark um, I phoned Chris who organized the whole of the uh, Wales thing and was asking him about the clutch because I was just not thinking straight making poor decisions so you'll see more in the next video